680's business editor Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, Donald Trump has again taken aim at Canada's trade practices. Yeah, that's right, Francis. He repeated his criticism of Canada's dairy industry, but he also, for the first time, took aim at trade practices regarding Canadian lumber and energy. Take a listen. Canada, what they've done to our dairy farm workers is a disgrace. It's a disgrace. And that also includes what's happening along our northern border states with Canada having to do with lumber and timber. We can't let Canada or anybody else take advantage and do what they did to our workers and to our farmers. Now, Canada's finance minister uh, is downplaying uh, Trump's latest attack on Canadian trade. Bill Marneau this afternoon said the Canada-U.S. trade relationship is, quote, very outstanding. The prime minister said yesterday that Canada will stick with its trade policies. Francis, I think this is really posturing uh, by the mm -hmm. U.S. president ahead of the NAFTA negotiations. It did impact Bay Street in that a lot of the lumber stocks moved lower today. Yeah, no doubt. Well, is trouble brewing at Subway Sandwiches? Now, the chain has been closing hundreds of its U.S. restaurants. What's going on? Yeah, we found out uh, Bloomberg News reporting that 359 U.S. Subway locations shut down last year. This is the first time ever in its history that Subway has had a net reduction in U.S. restaurants. It's really losing ground to other fast casual chains. Uh, it's lost some of its cred as a healthier food option. It's been trying to restore that by eliminating antibiotics from its check-in like uh, other chains have. Uh, the Canadian store count is held rather steady, but Subway faces the same issues here and just the the other week, we had the CEO of Freshy proposing that it take over some Subway stores. Uh, to help turn things around, Subway Francis is experimenting with delivery in the U.S. Sales down 1.7% uh, last year. Now, remember that uh, Starbucks unicorn frappuccino that you showed us a couple days ago? Well, apparently it was so popular that it has frustrated some baristas. It's made them mad. By now, I'm sure everyone has seen that viral video, and the coffee chain is responding to that uh, employee. What have they done? Yeah, it is. I mean, a lot of people thought this guy was going to get fired. So just to remind you, you know, the Starbucks frappuccino, the unicorn frappuccino, very difficult to make. And this barista who worked at a Starbucks in Colorado, he begged people not to order it. Take a quick look. Well, today it came out, and I have to tell you, please don't get it! I have never made so many Frappuccinos in my entire life. My hands are completely sticky. I have unicorn crap all in my hair and on my nose. I have never been so stressed out in my entire life. It has been insane. If you love us, as so he's, does, he was very upset about the uh, the unicorn it. frappuccino. Clearly, many thought Francis he would get fired. Uh, Starbucks today says no, nope, he's going to keep his job. In fact, the coffee chain said the executives wanted to hear more from this guy about how he felt uh, the company could uh, improve uh, things for customers and employees. So and you, you know go. what, Richard? No one likes unicorn crap in their nose. <laughs> tell me about it. I mean, it's a problem I deal with uh, on an almost daily oh, basis. So tell me about it. Yeah. So from unions to outer space, you're uh, looking at a new out-of-this-world marketing campaign. Right. So, you know, like Subway, Kentucky Fried Chicken, like a lot of the fast casual chains, they've been suffering from slugger, sluggish sales. So they're rolling out some new ad campaigns. This is KFC. It's hired a new Colonel Sanders. It's actor Rob Lowe. And in this new commercial, Lowe plays a John F. Kennedy-esque colonel announcing plans to launch a KFC chicken sandwich into space. And believe it or not, KFC is actually going to do this. They're going to attach uh, their fried chicken sandwich to balloons, and they're going to bring it up into orbit. Uh, KFC, he says uh, in the ad, uh, uh, chooses uh, to hand bread chicken, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. And, uh, of course, Lowe's best known for his roles in the West Wing and in St. Elmo's Fire. And we'll see if this boosts revenue at the fried chicken chain, Francis. Can you work off calories in space? Is that... Uh... <laughs> You're going to need to if you're eating zingers up in orbit, I think. No kidding. So maybe some spring cleaning is on the uh, sked this weekend, and you're looking at some cleaning products uh, for those who really hate to clean, like me. Who, who likes cleaning, right? No. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, let's make it a bit easier. Take a look at some of these products. First off, um, how about stick-on stove protectors? You know, don't need to scrub the stove anymore, Francis. You stick these on, and you then peel away the mess after you've cooked. $7.80 for that. Love I love this next one. Okay, you're going to like this. Remote control old mop 34 bucks you relax on the couch and you drive it around remotely to mop up your filth wait How can fun i get is one that? now that is the best invention ever <laughs> don't you love it uh, you like this next one kind of along the same vein a onesie mop let your child do the work 
turns your baby into a mop, Francis. It learns how to crawl and it cleans up for you at the same time. Does 40 it work bucks on five-year-olds? Because if, <laughs> I, if I can get a deal three for one, I'm, I'm buying it. You might be able to put these next ones on your mm -hmm. uh, son, Francis. How about clean as you go slippers? Tidy up while you're walking to the fridge and back. 12 bucks for those beauties. Uh, I, I, you know, you and I got to get this next one. It's okay. a mic microfiber tie <laughs> for 20 bucks. So you use it to clean your smartphone, to clean your glasses. It's like a cleaning rag around your neck. Love it. What a great idea. Uh, and finally, the WinBot. It's 100 bucks, but it cleans your windows automatically for you. So with a touch of a button, it suctions to the window and it rovers around. You chill out on the couch while it does the work for you, Francis. How cool is that? And don't forget the Don Valley Parkway going to be closed for spring maintenance mm. as well this weekend. Yeah, no kidding. Nothing All we right. Can do about Thank that, you. Though. Thank you, Richard. Have a great weekend. You too.